Hello my dear student I hope you all are fit and fine so let's start our today's EVS class in this EVS class we are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 3 and the name of the chapter is breathing so really it is very interesting chapter because in this chapter you are going to read about human respiratory system so let's start our today's EVS class so dear students today we are going to start our chapter number 3 that is breathing so breathing is one of the essential requirement of all living beings without breathing we cannot live we cannot survive now question is that what is the meaning of breathing so breathing means we take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide so this is the meaning of breathing now breathing is also known as respiration so in this chapter we are going to read about our respiratory system now again question is that what is respiratory system so the organ system that consists of organs used in the process of respiration or breathing is called respiratory system in this chapter we will also learn about the process of breathing it means that how do we breathe and we have to learn also blow hot and blow cold okay so one by one we are going to read about all these topics so let's start okay now see this do you remember name the part of your body which are used to do following activities so one is smelling a flower so we smell flower by the help of our nose then next we have watching tv so by the help of our eyes we can watch tv listening to radio so by the help of our ears we used to listen or hear So let's proceed our chapter. We all need air to breathe and to stay alive. So air is very very essential because air help us in breathing and because of breathing only we can stay alive. Breathing is an essential process that provide oxygen to our body and releases carbon dioxide out from the body. okay students i told you previously that during breathing or respiration we take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide so it means that only because of breathing we can capable to provide oxygen to our body and we can capable to release carbon dioxide out from our body we breathe more while doing activities such as skipping running cycling etc so whenever we are doing some uh, increased physical activity like skipping running cycling etc so at that time our breathing become faster तो जब भी हम स्कीपिंग रनिंग या फिर साइकिलिंग या कोई और फिज़िकल एक्सरसाइज करते हैं तो उस समय क्या होता है हमारा हमारे जो जो ब्रीथिंग होती है वो बहुत ही फास्ट हो जाती है यानी बहुत ही जल्दी जल्दी ऑक्सीजन की सप्लाई हमारे बॉडी के अंदर होती है और कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड उतना ही फास्ट हमारे बॉडी से रिलीज होता है सो so स्टूडेंट्स before i start the process of breathing you must know about the part of your respiratory system so this is the diagram of respiratory system let's know about the what are the important part which plays a important role in breathing so see that this is our nose so nose or nostril it is a part of our respiratory system see that how uh how we can take air by the help of our nose so that is known as breathe in so air when we take from our nose it moves downward towards the windpipe so this is windpipe and then by the help of windpipe it moves toward our lungs see that we have a pair of lungs two lungs we have now 
this is diaphorms this is diaphorms and it is uh, rounded and curve shape it is also uh, known as a dome shaped structure to jo hamara डायफॉर्म्स होता है वो डोम शेप्ड होता है और डोम शेप्ड का मतलब होता है राउंडेड एंड कर्व इन शेप सो अब आप लोग समझ गए होंगे कि रिस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम कैसा होता है और इसके कौन कौन से पार्ट्स होते हैं द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिस्पिरेशन टेक प्लेस और आकर्स इन लंग्स सो सी This is our lungs, two lungs, and these lungs are present in our chest cavity. That is also called as thoracic cavity. So, see the diagram carefully and recognize the part of our respiratory system. So, then only I will explain you that what is the process of breathing. so let's talk about a very important process that is called as breathing the process of breathing involves two steps so it means that breathing is take place by the help of two steps first step is inhalation and second step is exhalation so inhalation the process of taking in air is called inhalation and this air provides oxygen to our body next step is exhalation so exhalation so let's start process of breathing so it is very important process listen carefully the process of breathing involves two steps inhalation and exhalation so process of breathing take place by the help of two steps first step is inhalation the process of taking in air is called inhalation and this air provides oxygen to our body next is exhalation the process of breathing the air out is called exhalation and this air expels carbon dioxide from our body so we can say that inhalation and exhalation together known as breathing so let's start process of breathing so it is very important process listen carefully the process of breathing involves two steps inhalation and exhalation so process of breathing take place by the help of two steps first step is inhalation The process of taking in air is called inhalation and this air provides oxygen to our body. Next is exhalation. The process of breathing the air out is called exhalation and this air expels carbon dioxide from our body. So we can say that inhalation and exhalation together known as breathing. so let's proceed the intake of oxygen rich air through the nose is termed as inhalation so whenever we take oxygen rich air inside our body by the help of our nose is termed as inhalation the inhaled air then goes to the windpipe and finally into the lungs so when oxygen rich air entered through our nose then it goes to the windpipe and finally into the lungs so from nose air moves toward the lungs by the help of windpipe lungs are a pair of bag like structure so i shown you the picture of lung and lung it is one of the essential part Uh, important part of our respiratory system and it is a bag like structure so lungs uh, is a very important part of our respiratory system because process of respiration occurs in lungs now 
दिस पेयर ऑफ बैग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर लोकेटेड इन द चेस्ट कैविटी चेस्ट कैविटी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज थोरेसिक कैविटी सो लंग्स दे आर प्रेजेंट इन थोरेसिक कैविटी और चेस्ट कैविटी दे आर प्रोटेक्टेड बाय द रिप केज सो लंग्स are also very very delicate part of respiratory system so that's why they are protected by the rib cage a large dome shaped muscle called diaphragm is present below the lungs diaphragm is present below the lungs and it is in uh, large dome shaped it means that it is in rounded and curved shape and it is a very important muscles which help in the process of breathing when we breathe in the oxygen rich air the diaphragm contracts downward this step of breathing is called inhalation when we breathe out the air in carbon dioxide the diaphragm relaxes and moves upward this step of breathing is called exhalation okay students so by the help of this diagram just see this diagram carefully you can understand the process of breathing and process of inhalation and exhalation okay my dear student by help of these two pictures you can understand the process of breathing very very well see that this is the first picture what is showing in this first picture see that whenever we breathe in oxygen rich air what will happen it travels through the help of windpipe and finally move towards lungs so whenever we breathe in what will happen our diaphragm it moves toward downward direction it means that diaphragm it contract and move toward downward this process is known as inhalation now see in second picture whenever we are breathing out carbon dioxide rich air what will happen our diaphragm it relaxes and moves to upward direction this process is called exhalation so it is clear to you now my dear student both inhalation and exhalation together known as breathing so this is the process of breathing now listen carefully diaphragm it is very very important because diaphragm located below the lungs is the major muscle of respiration so see that position of diaphragm you see that uh, this is diaphragm and and uh, this is diaphragm where it is present it is present below the lungs so actually what will happen when you breathe diaphragm contracts and flattened and move towards downward direction due to this effect air pulls into the lungs now when you breathe air out it means that when you exhale your diaphragm relaxes and move to upward direction and due to this effect air is pushed out of lungs so this is the process of breathing so by the help of picture you i hope you understand the process of inhalation and exhalation and together inhalation and exhalation is known as breathing so in uh, so in the process of inhalation diaphragm it contracts move to downward direction and we can breathe in it means that oxygen rich air move towards our lung 
and during exhalation diaphragm it relaxes and moves to upward direction due to this carbon dioxide rich air we can breathe out it means that carbon dioxide rich air expels from our lungs our next topic is breathing rate or respiratory rate so breathing rate is also known as respiratory rate because breathing means what respiration so breathing rate is also known as respiratory rate now what is breathing rate or respiratory rate the respiratory rate is the rate at which breathing occurs this is usually measured in breath per minute the rate of breathing depends upon the type of activities we do so it means that our breathing rate depend upon the activities that is done by us for example while running or cycling we breathe at a much faster rate as compared to the rate of breathing while resting at home so it means that when we are doing some hard physical activity at that time our breathing rate increases as compared to when we are resting at home so student i told you previously that when we are doing increased physical activity like uh, uh, running or cycling or doing any hard exercise at that time what will happen our breathing becomes faster so when we exercises and our muscles work harder our body use more oxygen and produce more carbon dioxide so it means that whenever we are doing hard uh, physical activities or increased physical activities at that time our muscles work harder and due to that our body use more oxygen and produce more carbon dioxide to jab bhi hum koi hard physical activity karte hain to us samay hamare muscles bahut hi fast kaam karte hain so uh, due to that they need more oxygen and because of this our body use more oxygen and produce more carbon dioxide on an average a healthy human adult has a breathing rate of 12 to 20 breaths per minute so i told you that this uh, i told you that uh, usually breathing rate is measured in uh, 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 measured in breath per minute so due to that uh, agar hum ek average ki baat karte hain to a healthy human adult has a breathing rate of 12 to 20 breath per minute yani ek healthy human adult jo hoga uski breathing ki jo rate hogi wo 12 to 20 breath per minute hogi yani ki ek minute mein wo 12 to 20 times saans lega so i hope you understand all these topics which i taught you today so student you have to read the book thoroughly then only you can understand the things in a better way now time to answer number 1 inhalation involves the intake of oxygen rich air through the nose so during inhalation what we do we take oxygen rich air inside our body the lungs are protected by the rib cage i told you that lungs are very very delicate so that's why their protection protection is also very very important because respiration take place in our lungs only so lungs are protected by the rib cage the air rich in carbon dioxide is released during exhalation so during exhalation which gas is expelled from our body that is carbon dioxide the average breathing rate of healthy human is 12 to 20 breath per minute so my dear student that's all for today's class so in next video we will complete the chapter number 2 and we will also do question and answers and remaining exercise till that stay healthy stay home use mask and sanitizer and keep yourself free from infection thanks for watching this video